Hi there, my name is Paul Eastwood and I'm going to be talking to you today on how to lose fat, the real facts. This is part one of a three lecture series and uh, I'm going to start with one, it's always on the board, okay? By far the most important thing that you need to know is how your body works. Now compare to mine or compare to your friend or compare to this person on TV or this person in a magazine, you need to know how your body works, okay? And uh, one of the, the biggest media hype uh, problems when it comes to losing body fat is that they've convinced you that your body can't do it on its own, that you need to buy something to actually break down body fat. And I'm going to tell you the exact opposite. Okay? I'm not trying to sell you a fat loss supplement, I'm not trying to sell you, sell you a fat loss drink, a fat loss uh, powder, or anything like that. Okay? I'm actually just going to tell you how your body uh, uses fat as a fuel source. Okay? Real science. So, um, when you know how your body works, okay, you'll, you'll be able to break down body fat a lot easier than uh, you are right now. The fact that you're having problems with it is they're just playing on that, um, on that desire of yours. So unfortunately, um, you know, they're taking advantage of you uh, because your body knows exactly how to break down body fat. But if you don't do the right thing or take in the right nutrients basically or your stress levels are too high or there's a whole host of other things here that you're not doing, right then you are going to struggle and you think that taking a pill or a powder or a drink is actually the best thing when it's actually probably the worst um, which is why they're not working otherwise we'd all go out and buy this one drink or this one powder and it would have done some good by now but it's not happening is it so number two don't buy any products to lose body fat okay it's not going to work and uh, i'll explain why and i'll always explain why um, I'll never sort of uh, leave you hanging. All these um, products that you buy are chemical related, okay? Now the problem with chemicals is that they're reabsorbed by the body quite quickly, okay? Here's um, uh, a little curve here. This is called homeostasis. If I take uh, caffeine or anything, uh, it'll, it'll rise as I ingest it, but then my body will naturally counteract that. Okay, it knows I don't need uh, caffeine or large quantities, quantities of it, or any other drug for that matter, and it will quickly reabsorb it. But while it's reabsorbing it, because it doesn't know how much you're taking in, um, it will overcompensate uh, before it comes back to the norm. It's a bit like your heart rate, really. If it goes up really high when you stop, it actually keeps going, doesn't it, before it starts to come back down. Okay, because your chemistry, your body doesn't sort of switch on, switch off, switch on, switch off. It takes time. So, uh, anything that you take in the body that falsely stimulates the body, any chemical sort of response, is actually going to incur this homeostasis, this homeostatic mechanism. And often, this curve here is just as big, if sometimes if not bigger, than the actual stimulus itself. Okay? Hence, people keep taking coffee or keep taking testosterone or steroids or other types of drugs and things to get the same kind of um, uh, result. The, re uh, the real reason um, people, we don't just take lots of chemicals and stay super healthy is because you need a mechanical response uh, from the body. A mechanical response involves the heart and the muscles, obviously the nervous system, the link in between, and actually even the bone itself. Bone uh, um, is part of your metabolism, the remineralization of it. And uh, getting impact and, uh, and being moved and having the muscles pull on it actually stimulates um, a mechanical response from the bone as well. And all these factors cause a lot of calories to be required and a lot of work to go on in the body. And actually, because there's an interaction going on between all of them, the, the nerves, the brain, the bone, the muscles, okay, then there is a, um, a far greater um, output um, of work compared to just taking a drink or a powder or something like that. Most are toxic. Okay, they've got, if you look at the ingredients on there, there's lots of things you can't pronounce. Um, there's lots of things that are brand new to the body. There's lots of things that are foreign to the body. And if you've learned anything from me by now, anything that's uh, considered extra or is not uh, already in your body, then it's considered a toxin. Okay, it's poisonous, it's not required, it's going to be stored or get or If you're very lucky, it'll be excreted uh, straight away. Uh, but all of those things are stress. Okay, and anything that stresses the body out, guess what? It's either straight to fat storage, or it increases stress hormones, which do help you make fat. So, um, take your chances on, uh, on all that stuff if you like. 
um, because otherwise how did people survive um, you know, before these drinks were made or these patterns were made and uh, if you look at, uh, back in history and, and, and I'm right back as well um, at some of the Greek um, people or the Europeans or any decent sort of uh, history whether it was uh, a war or, or something like that they were in very very good shape and uh, you know there was no drinks powders or fancy potions back then and the last thing here uh, all these uh, sort of drinks powders and things as I've said are all media hype and there's no real science in them anyway uh, if you do look at the research it's uh, on very very small things uh, like uh, the internal lining of a stomach in a rat or something that, that benefited from glutamine or, or some other um, substance and they because it was involved in healing or an immune system or something they link it to uh, something that could be a benefit in humans and blow it all out of proportion so um, I'm here to, t to give you the real facts and uh, uh, unfortunately uh, they're all um, a load of baloney and uh, they're just garbage products and if you if you really look deep into the nutrition industry and one of the reasons why I'm standing here today is because they take things that are very cheap and easy to manufacture and they sell them to you as something big and beautiful so um, please remember that homeostatic mechanism okay and uh, don't buy any products uh, to lose body fat listen to the other um, sections of this lecture okay and they're all about the internal mechanisms that go on that uh, your body uh, goes through to actually switch on fat burning or to switch it off and go to fat storage okay and the last thing I'll leave you with is this if you have glucose metabolism and fat metabolism you can't have both on at the same time that's diabetes so if glucose metabolism goes up okay and that's what happens under stressful situations or when you're taking chemicals in the body they tend to uh, promote um, a certain amount of sugar uh, to be released then that lowers your fat um, your fat burning system or fat uh, breakdown okay that's what fat burning is just fat breakdown so please remember that if you're taking in a lot of sugars okay then you're switching off your ability to use fat as a fuel source okay please join me for the next uh, lecture it's even better um, in my in, in my eyes because um, it considers all the different stresses that enter the body okay and how they affect the hormone release which are very very powerful uh, chemicals in the body um, which actually switch on or switch off uh, fat burning so thank you very much companies.2 forward slash metabolic typing assessment for this video and more information on metabolic typing thanks